What is going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here with our OTC Saturday video and we are going to be covering quite a few of the same stocks that we have uh, been going over for the last few months. Uh, quite a few have had some major explosions uh, just this week alone. We've had a huge week. Uh, we're going to get started off with Fernhill Corporation. We've been on these guys since early uh, spring uh, back in the uh, dubs 30s. Uh, these guys today closed at 0 0.0376, up a percent uh, on 122 million in volume. Uh, if we take a look at this chart here, this is absolutely unbelievable. <clears throat> Just a week ago, uh, right here, we were talking about this uh, breaking new highs. Um, look what it did uh this thing was trading just a little bit over a shade over two cents when we talked about it last week and uh it went all the way up to highs of uh what was it four oh four thirty um so uh i i would anticipate a little bit of uh, a pullback coming up over the next uh, few days um I, I i don't know um how hot this market remains uh, if this can sustain its heat, I mean, if you just take a look at the chart here, um, every time it it gets up here and gets uh, overheated, it pull it has a nice pullback, and that pattern just you know constantly continued here. Uh, although uh, we didn't have much of a pullback, you can see these wicks on the candle here. This did pull back below two cents here, so um, I mean, we we did have quite a bit, almost uh, you know. Uh, 20-30% pullbacks on some of these days. So, um, but we, I mean, nonetheless, uh, new highs. Uh, congratulations to everyone that uh, took the call early and uh, hung on because uh, we made a fortune here on uh, Fernhill. I don't think we're done, uh, but I would be looking to take at least maybe a little bit of profits off here if you've been holding and uh, possibly buying back. Uh, you know, on some uh, pullbacks, uh, unless you're long and, and obviously tax purposes, you're holding this thing for a few years and then you hang on to this thing because I think we still have more to go. So uh, still still very uh, bullish on Fernhill Corporation, especially uh, waiting on what we have as far as the merger uh, coming at the uh, end of November. So uh, moving forward, another uh, play we've uh, been on for quite some time that's cyberlux corporation cybl uh, closed today up six percent at 0 0.0445 uh, it's been an absolute monster this sent uh, 227 almost 228 million in volume uh, if we take a look at this chart uh, just absolute monster um, you know we were we were buying this at about a half a penny so uh, right now this is uh almost a nine bagger almost a ten bagger here uh we still have a lot of uh, acquisition news and, and a lot of stuff coming up with these guys. Again, uh, you know, j just keep up with the DD from uh, OG Tigers and some of the other good, uh, you know, uh, researchers out here on uh, Twitter to find out the information on Cyberlux as well, too. And also on some, some of the past videos from Moon Market and myself um, going months back on these guys. Uh, still bullish on Cyberlux. Uh, again, I said possibly seven to eight cents by the end of the year, and uh, we could be seeing a D, uh, you know, a dark pulse uh, run um, in, in these guys. So uh, that's still not out of the question. My thesis has not changed one bit on Cyberlux. Still very bullish on Cyberlux. Uh, now let's look at uh, quickly at another one. Uh, we got a yield sign on our. Uh, APTY app systems closed at uh, 0 0.0165 up 7% today. Uh, take a look here on almost 30 million in volume. Um, we have not had the break of the highs yet, and I do anticipate that here. So I would be loading this thing. Uh, we see we've been trending upward since about a penny, and uh, right now at a little over a penny and a half. Uh, we'll be pink current soon. Should be getting stable, uh, stable coin news uh, very soon on this thing, and. Um, I would anticipate uh, we break these highs of uh, you know two and a half cents, two fifty six, and uh, possibly get to the three, four, five cent range. So um, very bullish on APTY. This is one um, I, I'm, I think uh, could be running uh, very, very, very soon. So uh, very bullish here, and another one that I think uh, could be running very soon, and this is uh, PJet. Priority Aviation, uh, 0 0.01565. It was down 8% today on 40, almost 45 million in volume. Uh, if we take a look, we've had a little bit of a pullback here on the chart uh, from a little bit of, of above two cents. Uh, just waiting on merger news, so there's not much to talk about here. So uh, if we get something, I anticipate this thing absolutely flying. So uh, we will check now.
going to AXTG Access Technologies Group. Uh, got some news the other day about them opening a new office in Los Angeles, California. Uh, they had about $8 million in volume, so the volume was a little bit down today. Uh, they closed at $0.11, cents, down 8%. Uh, this is one, this is more of a little bit of a long-term hold for me. Um, you know, we were buying in, and uh, we had this video last week uh, under $0.05, cents, so, um, or just a little bit over $0.05. Cents. So uh, we have a double so far, and I anticipate much more. I think we break these highs of 18 and a quarter. Uh, this is more of a play to let this thing play out, let some more of these Ethereum miners come in. Uh, here's some news from Mr. Tien and uh, in the group here, and um, very bullish on AXTG. Moving forward, we're going to go to a new play. And this is a play which has a yield sign. This is T-O-N-R. Closed the day at 0 .0067 uh, on huge volume, 409 million volume. We take a look at the chart. This thing has absolutely skyrocketed over the last uh, week and a half here. Um, reason I like it is a lot of these lower price plays, you don't find any a, 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 very many of these plays uh, right now in the markets that have uh, a chance at running. If you look at the share structure here, it's not very bad. Uh, 3.2 billion on the share structure, uh, so it's not horrible. Um, there should be some updates with this company in about uh, a week or two, uh, talking about a uh, DeFi, uh, blockchain, and crypto merger. So um, there will be some anticipation. I can see this thing easily breaking a penny. I uh, don't know much more about it until we hear the merger news. So this is more of a speculation play. I'm not loading up very heavy. Uh, in fact, I bought 5 million shares uh, the other day at 0 .0047. Um, I did sell some of those uh, in the uh, 70s um, and uh, still now holding a uh, almost a a free position here because uh, we did buy some more as well too uh, on a dip so uh, still like this position going forward um, I'm gonna probably work this thing to a free position uh, hopefully of about three or four million shares and uh, let this thing play out into into news and um, and then we'll make a decision once the news comes but this is something I have uh, you know at the price that it's at now with a catalyst of pink current coming up in the acquisition I can easily see this thing breaking a penny and right there that's about 30 um, a little over over 33 percent from where we're at now so I uh, really like T O N R. Um, we're gonna go to uh, Probably my favorite position right now, um, as far as uh, where we're going to be going, I think, and that's GVSI. Um, this thing, huge day today, 15%, uh, uh, pretty big day the past couple days, considering that uh, a lot of these platforms can't even buy this stock right now, and showing the strength, it's showing that the, the, the float is uh, pr pretty much locked up, and uh, there's not very many people looking to sell this stock right now, uh, which also tells me that once the uh, stop sign comes off, the buying uh, restrictions come off, and we find out who is merging in, my my guess is swap. But again, that's my uh, putting some dots together and looking at some uh, research from other people. Um, again, pure speculation. This is, there's nothing concrete, so uh, take it with a grain of salt until it's uh, inked and, and until you see it in. Uh, you know, uh, coming across the screen that it's been signed. So, uh, but either way, GBSI, I think this thing has a lot of potential, especially if that is the merger. If that's the case, uh, we could see a humble type run. Um, love, love, love GBSI. Um, we're going to go talk about a new play here. Actually, two new plays, and these are the last two we're going to be talking about. And we're going to be talking about a, G, uh, a, a GTOR. This is an e gaming play. Um, we were uh, actually buying this thing yesterday, uh, or yesterday, uh, Thursday, in the four, four threes, four fours, you know, right down here. Um, saw a lot of volume coming in this thing, and, and it really was kind of a play I didn't really notice until uh, Radio Silent uh, play, so shout out to Radio Silent. I, I saw him tweeting about this, and um, and then uh, OTC chairman, uh, uh, another shout out to him, uh, brought it up and said, hey, take a look at this play. This thing looks like it's moving. So um, I looked at it, a lot of volume coming in. I like the e-gaming space. Uh, I like the share structure on this thing. In fact, we could take a look at the share structure. Absolutely fabulous. Um, 
if we take a look here, the uh, outstanding shares, there's only 186 million uh, with 109 restricted. So um, looks like there's only about 70 million in the float here. So uh, a low float play um, in the in the you know e-gaming uh, space. These guys, uh, I, th I'm hearing that there should be some news coming out Monday. Uh, we did have some news last week. In fact, uh, September 20th. Uh, in fact, they, every week they give out a weekend report. So, um, you know, th th this is something to keep an eye on. Um, I mean, it's already up quite a bit. I mean, 110%. Um, you don't want to go chasing this thing in, you know, in the in the 11s and 12s if you if it, if it's going to pull back. But uh, with this float, this thing can hit 15 before it pulls back. So uh, keep a close eye on it. Um, this the highs are 23. If we take a look at the chart real quickly. Um, this thing hit a high of 23 not too long ago back in February. Uh, so you can see uh, this thing can snap, it can fly. Uh, with the right news, uh, we could be breaking highs here. So um, just keep a close eye on this thing. Uh, again, it's, it, it, there, there, it is uh, going to be day three of the run on Monday. Um, you know, usually days three and four, uh, five of these runs, I, I usually start looking for a pullback to take an entry. So, um, you know, be careful on your entry. It's a low float, but uh, really do like this play going forward. Very, very, very interesting play. And last but not least, a play that, um, you know, I, I've been eyeing for this for, for months, even down even at a half a penny. And um, th that I actually bought it up here at two and a half cents. Uh, kind of says uh, what I see in this in this play here. Uh, first, let's take a look at this chart. Uh, and again, uh, this is uh, All American Pet Company uh, (AAPT) uh, closed at 0 0.0265, down seven percent. It is a pink current ticker um, at 144 million or 143 million in volume today. Uh, if we take a look here, I was telling you about a half a cent. And everything we were looking at this thing. Um, you know, this is a custo play. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been talking about it. Uh, you know, there's just so many custo plays. I, I thought with the share structure, uh, there was better custos out there. But um, being that the uh, uh, the CEO of uh, MJWL, David Chong, is involved in this, uh, the share structure is not bad. I mean, if you take a look here, there's really no room for dilution. And uh, they have 800 million, excuse me, Eight, excuse me, 800 million restricted shares uh, had a little hiccup there. Um, so, I mean, we're looking at a little over 2 million float on this thing. Um, not horrible. Um, they're, they're doing the acquisition with Cora, and uh, I, I will be getting more into this in a, in a video uh, detailing this company in particular because I really do like this uh, merger here, so I'm not going to get too uh, in-depth right now, but uh, this is something I'm very excited about. I really think AAPT... Um, once this merger is announced, and they said by month's end, so I'm anticipating sometime next week we get an announcement, I really do think we can hit five cents or better next week. Um, you know, if you look at MJWL as a gauge, um, you know, that thing didn't really take off until the merger was announced. And um, I, I, I think the same thing's going to happen here. Uh, this has a little bit of a thicker share structure. Uh, in fact, uh, has a little over twice, you know, double the shares as uh, MJWL, uh, or about double the shares. Um, so, uh, I mean, MJWL ran at 25 cents, uh, depending on what these guys are doing here. Um, you know, it, I don't think six or seven cents is out of the question. So, um I'd like to learn a little more about the company, but I really do like what I'm seeing so far. That's why I bought it now. And, you know, I, 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 evidently, I mean, obviously, you see, I could have bought in at a, at a half a penny and at a penny all the way along up this uh, run. But finding out this merger, uh, it did pop up. In fact, uh, let's take a look at the chart for a second here. This thing popped up to about uh, 365. So you can see I did wait for the pullback here. Um, we got the merger news uh, right around here, and it just took off. Uh, got away from me a little bit. I didn't want to buy in. I did like the merger news, but I didn't want to buy above three. And I waited for this little bit of a pullback. And um, even if it pulls back a little more on Monday, I may add a little more. And I think this thing snaps back on the merger news and breaks highs, and we can see easily five, six, seven cents. So, um, again, uh, when I get a little more information and, and – 
put this thing together a little better i'll put a video out so uh again that's all i got for you today guys uh, for the otc saturday um as always please like please share please subscribe any comments or questions please put them in the uh, comment section below uh keep an eye out for a couple more videos over the next few days i'm putting some together um and as always traders let's get that money <laughs>